plastic bags are bad for the environment. Great, you can raise your hands. Okay, all of you, four for four. Oh, wait. When you guys go to the grocery store, how many of you get plastic bags when you go to the grocery store? Okay, four for four. How many of you bring your own bags to the grocery store? I used to, but then I lost them when I moved. <laughs> Anybody else? Occasionally. Sometimes, no? Okay. No. So if we know that plastic bags are bad, why do we still get them? Why do we see them everywhere in grocery and retail stores? Um, plastic bags are very convenient, but they're not worth using. Um, I'm a conservation biology major and I worked in environmental education and I've learned a lot about recycling and how bad plastic is for the environment. And so many of you just showed me that you know plastic bags are bad, but you still use them. So today we're gonna to talk about why we don't wanna use plastic bags and maybe possible solutions. So although they are convenient, plastic bags, um, the negatives of using them highly outweigh the benefits of using them. So most of them end up as litter in the ecosystems, in the environment, mostly in water environments, lakes, rivers, streams, and oceans. This affects and kills millions of marine mammals each year. Um, the main alternatives are cloth or not using bags. So, Plastic bags adversely affect birds. They kill millions of birds and other animals each year. Um, animals can be differently affected. So physically, they can be asphyxiated. As you can see, this bird looks like he's suffocating, which can cause them to die. They can choke or become entangled with them, which can cause them to be deformed. Um, this could cause them to be deformed if they get caught in the plastic, so they might not die, they might survive living like this. Um, there are 660 species of animals that encounter plastic um, in marine litter, so there's a wide range of species affected, it can be birds, mammals, or invertebrates. Uh, there's plastic litter all over the world, tons of it. 80% of litter in all the world is plastic, and a majority of that is plastic bags. So animals can also mistake food, or mistake plastic bags for food and eat them. Um, another way that marine environments are affected is that plastic that is laying on the ocean floor can affect the structure of the sediments on the ocean floor. So a way that happens is plastic blocks the oxygen from the sediment on the bottom of the ocean floor and there's actually a lot of marine life that can live on the ocean floor. So there's a lot of organisms at the bottom of the food chain there. Um, so it can affect animals that want to eat the nutrients and animals on the ocean floor. Um, old sediment can't mix with new sediment, it's actually a physical barrier, and nutrients can't cycle through the sediment, which can kill off species living in that ecosystem. So now, thinking about it, if we realize that plastic is so bad, why do we continue to use plastic bags? So as we see, it's very convenient. Um, in 1977 is when the first plastic bags came out. Um, it, became universal very quickly. They're easy to make, cheap to make, and very um, easy to store. They don't take up very much space. So as you can see, you can carry lots of things with lots of plastic bags. And in 19 1977, it was hard to predict the adverse effects that plastic bags would have on the environment. Um, uh, the main alternative to plastic bags is cloth bags, and we'll touch on that in a little bit. They're more expensive and require more effort on part of the consumer. So plastic bags also are in our homes. People use them as doggy, uh, doggy trash bags, fur trash bag, can liners, things like that. So it is great that people do reuse them for other things, but once they break or you can't use them anymore, they get thrown out and might end up in the landfill or might end up as litter. So pl plastic bags also easily fly away. They're very light. So they get trapped in trees, they get trapped in waterways, and when they do end up in the environment, they can take hundreds of years to break down. And when they do break down, that they release toxic bits of plastic bits into soils, lakes, rivers, and oceans, which can also be affecting animals in ecosystems. So although they are convenient, they're hard to eradicate since, as you can see, they are very convenient to use. So with even proper disposal, they are notorious for ending up in the environment. So, does 
their convenience make them worth it? I'm not sure. So an easy alternative is cloth bags or just saying no to bags. So cloth bags, although more cost effective, the consumer actually has to purchase a cloth bag. They aren't that expensive. And when you actually think about how many bags, if you use a cloth bag for a month, that can prevent up to 127 bags from ending up in a landfill based off of how much um, consumers use plastic bags. In the article on the business, in an article in the Business and Environment magazine, they really highlight reduce, reusing, and recycling the three R's for plastic bags. So they really encourage cloth. They're more durable, so they will last longer and easily pay for themselves when you're thinking about the effects, the positive effects you can have on the environment. Um, the more you use them, the more plastic you prevent from ending up in the environment. Um, so if you can, try to use cloth or reusable bags as much as you can. If you can't, try to reuse your plastic as much as possible. And when you can, properly recycle your plastic bags. At grocery stores, sometimes they'll have plastic bag um, receptacles where you can recycle your plastic bags. So although we know, so although we know that plastic bags are not good for the environment, many people still use them frequently, as we saw here today. So change kind of at this point needs to come from in individual consumers. Plastic bags affect millions of animals each year. They cause them to become deformed. They can kill animals. Um, they can, it affects the food chain. So although it's convenient globally, everywhere around the world uses plastic bags, so far there haven't been very many alternative options besides individual consumers being proactive. So change will come, it might come slowly, but it'll come from the consumer. And why should we continue to use cloth bags? Well. If you can protect some of those animals and some of the environments from having those adverse effects on plastic bags, then we should feel better about having prevented unnecessary deaths. <laughs>